Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today I'm going to show you how to get shaders. This specific video will be for 1.17.1, but it can go from that to all the way down to 1.7.2. So any version in between them, this will work. So as shaders are client-side only, meaning you have to change absolutely nothing in the server. This will just affect your game and nobody else's. But where you want to go next, you want to search Optifine, and then the version you want, or you can just search Optifine, that will work too. And as you can see, Optifine.net. It should take you to this website, and then you just click Downloads at the top. As you can see, it only currently shows 1.17.1, but if you are playing on an older version, you can click Show All Versions, and as you can see, it goes all the way down, all the way down to 1.7.2. But as I said, for today's video, we're going to use 1.17.1. So it's pretty simple. You just click Mirror. If you click Download, you have to go through loads of ad fly type of things, and <laughs> I don't know why you would actually choose to do that. Just click Mirror, and it starts downloading pretty much instantly. As you can see, we have got it. We're going to click Keep. If it does say this, just make sure you click Keep. And then the next thing we want to do is click on it. So if you are playing with mods, instead of clicking on it and installing it, you are going to want to add it to your mods folder. But for this, we're just going to click Install. And there we go, Optivine is successfully installed. Also, just note that you do have to run that version of Minecraft at least once before installing Optifine. You want to click OK and it will close itself. And now, if you go to your Minecraft launcher, you have to reload this, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Now, if you go over here, it should say this, latest release 1.17.1. If you click on it, you can find the new Optifine installation. So you want to go ahead and click on that. So now we have Optifine fully set up. Now we need to find some shaders. So there is tons and tons of different types of shaders, but for this video, I'm going to use BSL. These are my favourite shaders. If you're trying to figure out what shaders to go for, there's loads and loads of videos all over YouTube comparing different shader packs. And I'm going to go ahead and download these. And the chances of it being most safe are pretty high if it is on CurseForge. So as you can see, the BSO zip has downloaded. Now you want to go ahead and open your Minecraft. So as you can see, we have loaded Minecraft. Now you want to go to Options. Then you want to go to Video Settings. And you should see quite a few new things due to Optifine being installed. So shaders, details, animations, quality, performance and other should all be brand new. Anyway, you want to go to shaders. Chances are your folder won't look like this, as you haven't technically installed them into Minecraft yet. So what you want to go is at the bottom and click the shaders folder. It should then open a file explorer window with your shader packs in it. Right, so now we can actually just drag it from Chrome and hover over file explorer and drag it in just like this. And as you can see, BSL is now in the Shader Packs folder. So now if we go back to Minecraft, go back to Shaders, BSL is now in there. So then you want to click it, and then there should be a loading screen. Then once that is done, just click Done. Sometimes there is some issues if you're sharing your screen on Discord, and it will cause your Minecraft to crash quite a bit of the time. So if you are sharing your screen on Discord, I recommend stop sharing your screen, turn your shaders on, and then start sharing again. Anyway, just click Done, and Done again and just go to a world. And as you can see, we can already see the brand new beautiful environment. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the time to noon, and as you can see, it looks very, very nice. You'll notice all brand new animations with the grass, the leaves on the trees. The water looks completely different and chances are it's also animated now. This also affects things like flowers, and if you can see, they're actually moving around now. Shaders can really, really help to just make your game look absolutely amazing. And when mixed with the right resource pack, they can look very, very good. So as you can see, with some resource packs, it does get a bit jittery. This is just a resource pack problem, and it's not really anything to do with the shaders. And one good thing about most shader packs is that they do come with a light version. This version is to be used if you don't have the greatest PC, as a lot of shaders can be very intensive. For example, Silders, that comes with so many different versions of the shaders, which can run on so many different types of systems. And of course, you can disable this at absolutely any time by going to Video Settings, Shaders, and then of course, just turning them off. So I did mention Silders shaders earlier, and I'm just going to show you some now. So as you can see, this is the extreme version, so you do need a decent-ish PC to be able to run these. So as you can see, they are very different to the BSL shaders. The animations are still going to be like this. This is, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's due to the resource pack. This is a really old resource pack. This resource pack is made for 1.7. So 
so it's 10 generations old. The main thing about shaders is of course the lighting. So if we go down we can place a torch and it immediately lights up the majority of the cave and it looks really really cool. One thing I do just have to say is make sure you do download these from credible websites because people do make malicious websites that can give you viruses. So if it looks sketchy, try somewhere else. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it did help you, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. And anyway, I'll see you next time.